Hello, I've been working on an update for Xconvert. Xconvert, if you remember, is a batch image converter. But at the moment, there has been a couple of issues. One of them is when you start it, sometimes you get this unhandled exception. Um, so that has been fixed. The other thing is as well, with the new terrain textures, um, there's an issue with BC5. Um, if I just bring up the terrain textures, it'll load the color map, it'll load the surface map, but it wouldn't load the normal map again. It says it's not supported. So what I've done, I've had to rewrite the code completely and we now have a new version of Xconvert, which is version 3. Again, um, because version 2 just ran and it was in this folder, it's actually picked up the folder. But what I've done is I've included all the information about the DDS file, because that was another issue I was having was the MIP levels and the DXGI version for the train textures. I couldn't find the information without digging deep into the file. So with this, I've included the information with a formula I've created that actually pulls all the information out about the file. So this is the color. The surface is obviously a BC1, and it's only got five MIT levels. Now the normal map is a BC5, and I've created a formula that does actually now load the file and tells you it's a BC5 and how many MIT levels there are. The downside to it is because the blue channel is taken out of a BC5, you cannot convert it. So the normal DDS format is not supported for conversion. BC5 only uses red and green channels. You can view it and you can see it, but you can't convert it. The rest of them, you can convert to PNG or another DDS format wherever. But again, if you select all, it will select them all except for the BC5. It's any BC5 texture will not convert. You can preview it and you can get the information from it, but you can't convert it. So that's one of the main things I've done with the new version. The other th issue we used to have is if we were changing the actual file formats, what used to happen, it used to flick away. It used to go away from the folder you're actually working in now it doesn't do that so you can actually select a drive um, if we go into here if I go to my pictures um, it will list anything that's in there without me actually having to click on here again so any of the files that's in there will automatically come up so as you can see it all works perfectly fine I'll be releasing this version very soon. Um, so thanks for watching and speak soon.